Hey everyone, uh, I'm now back home in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm at my shop, Orchid Euro in Pottstown, PA. Got Harlequin is here, so I'm gonna give you a quick uh, tour around the shop and show you the Harlequin as well. So obviously, the Harlequin made it no problem. My plans are not fully set in stone by any means, but I'm gonna have a PDR guy come and try and take out some of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna send the trunk lid, which was the incorrect color, out to get it painted with a friend and uh, replace the side trims, but I'm gonna try and keep as much of the story and the history there as possible. Um, but in the meantime, I have a hundred other projects going on, so I'll give you a quick tour. That is my wall of wheels, my wheel collection. Uh, I mainly collect 4x100 wheels, three-piece, a um, bunch of my friends' companies, 1552, work wheels, etc. And then, of course, old BBSs, Compomotives, things like that. Next to it is a giant bike, which I had uh, color-coded to match one of my biggest projects. It's a VW color and violet pearl using BASF paints, which matches the 2017 Volkswagen Caddy project that I'm currently building. This is by far the biggest project I've ever done in my life. I literally flew to Germany and collected an empty bare shell, brought it here, and then every single bolt, bumper, fender, wire, engine, every single piece is brand new, basically, and uh, has been built by myself. So here's the dashboard for it, actually, which is what I'm currently working on building. And uh, on the inside, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but we've got the custom air ride suspension from Airlift. Uh, Infab built that, so the air tank is on the roof. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. As I said, every single wire I'm doing myself, every piece of coating, every ECU, everything. Next to it is my Rally Golf, a factory all-wheel drive, wide body, all metal, limited edition car in Europe. They were never sold here in the US, but uh, through my day job, I've imported a half dozen or so to the US, and that's my own personal one. And then next to it, going from kind of fast and fun to slow and fun, this is a Volkswagen Dasher, a 1977 limited edition one with 5,000 miles that I found and bought from the original owner and am now redoing or touching up the interior, the brakes, things like that, that were uh, not in awesome condition from sitting for so long, but otherwise it's a garage kept kind of dream car. And then the last car I'll show you is one that we're currently working on. It's the Gulf Country. Uh, again, it's a limited production car, all-wheel drive, 4x4, lifted from the factory, all the bull bars, everything is in the factory. Uh, right now we're putting a new wheel bearing on the front left, and uh, got to redo the headliner and a couple other things on this one. Uh, we've also pulled off the front bull bars, and we have the original set of wheels going up to get uh, powder coated. So. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the main projects. We have a bunch of Mark 1s in the background. We have some other European import cars. Uh, there's always a ton going on. And now I have the Harley Quinn to add to that list. Um, thank you uh, so much for everyone who's following along. Um, I am gonna try and post up videos and I'll keep posting on Instagram as much as I can. Um, so yeah, try and keep you updated and I'll definitely keep you updated on the Harley Quinn. So thank you so much.